Hello. Hello, Earth humans. I am Tahini Ore. I am Tahini Ore. I am the physical resonance, the dimensional essence, the frequency of me. Yeah. According to the expression of creation in the realm, this time in this world, the expression of your life, existence, existential expression of creation. For we are coming into your world at this time for the expression of first contact, for the expression of interdimensional contact, for the expression of communing with your world in a format, adherence to the idea of the one infinite creator in form, the idea of the expression of love, the expression of what we may call the feminine principle, of what we may call the creative principle, the impetus to create, the love light frequency that emanates into your world to create expressions of reality that are conducive to the creator's will, that are conducive to the creator's expression in this realm at this time. And so it is our duty, and so it is our mission, and so it is our calling to inject this frequency into your world, insert this frequency into your realm, express our love, express our garments, express our expression, express our forum, our creative expression of the infinite creator crystal of all that is. And it is our pleasure, it is our duty, and it is our calling, our excitement, and our inspiration at this time to express in your world the idea of synchronization. Elimination of any frequencies, non-harmonious to our further communication. For it is the time, the coming in your world, in this realm, in this resonant vibration or pitch frequency of creation we call planet Earth at this time, that we have come, that we are coming in our starships. We are coming to your world in our frequency vibrating expressions of creation that we may call our higher self, our higher expression, you may call a starship, a UFO, a flying saucer, a triangle spot creation in your reality. But the idea is that we are all the one infinite creator. We are all resonance, we are all pitch, and the idea is we have come together at this time on a certain frequency, a certain pitch, a certain expression of creation that resonates according to the laws of free will of those individuals involved, it resonates according to the laws of abundance, the laws of attraction, the laws of expression of the divine creator's will in this realm. And it is within this understanding, it is within this world, within this realm, within this collective co-creation, in a sense, this third reality, this third collective co-created bubble reality we have created between us at this time, that we express the idea of contact with your civilization. That we express the idea of bringing your ships into your world for the furtherment of extraterrestrial communications with your civilization. And it is our gratitude and it is our happiness and our blessing and our joy to express that we are coming at an accelerated rate. If, if, if you make the shift of your dreams, if, if, if you make the choice to resonate on a particular pitch, a particular frequency. And there are in your realm, of course, those entities that wish to steer your world, steer your reality in different directions. And understand the debate that has arisen between your Bashar and between your civilization and between your Trump character and the administration of your political situation in your Western Isle of the United States of America at this time. The idea that there are, there are many fractal holographic probabilities, that there is no one reality, there is no one Donald Trump, there is no one expression of creation in our understanding, in our expression of the free will of the one creator in form at this time. And so we invite you to remember, which reality are you focusing upon? Which reality do you prefer? We can see the understanding that the frequency in your world is moving in a direction that is not fully conducive to the optimal timeline for our entry into your reality at the most accelerated rate at this time. However, we do understand that the idea of the frequency of fighting, resisting, fighting against this Trump character, this assassination of this 
person who is attempting to what he feel, do what he feels right, but is perhaps distorted by his own lack of self-worth, that is perhaps distorted by his own need for validation, that is perhaps supported by that little child within him that feels worthless and useless and lost and cast out of reality and is seeking validation in the physical reality to validate his self-worth through expression of being great, being strong, being powerful, being the best. And unfortunately, this is a vibration that has distorted his true calling, his true path to unlock, to unravel the doorway into a new dimension in your world, to unravel the old system, to break through the old barriers of resistance, to break through the old barriers of control, domination. You know the old saying, Absolute power corrupts absolutely. And the idea was that his soul's will, his soul's incarnation, his expression in the reality at this time is to break down this structure, is to inject a certain ruckus, is to inject a certain vibration of disruption into your world. This, in a sense, is his calling. However, it is, in our understanding, leaning towards the negative, leaning towards egoic, leaning towards narcissism, leaning towards self aggrandization And so, it is our pointing at this time that the reality you wish to shift to somehow must shift away from this idea of the expression of negative creation into an expression of unity, into an expression of validating the free will of all beings, whilst at the same time giving the opportunity to all entities, to all beings to express their free will in this realm in whatever form they need to feel to express their free will in this realm. And we sense that it's too much control. There is too much domineering. There is too much idea that I am right. This is the right way. We're doing it this way. Without really listening to the resonant pitches coming from a million souls in your world. Without really understanding the will of the people. For is it not the will of your president to serve the will of the people? And is it not the expression of your Trump that he tends to ignore the people and do what he wants? And so, this is the vibration the Bashar has pointed to. This is the expression the Bashar is creating in your expression, in your world. So you can begin to act, interact with your Trump character. Let him know, is there another way to interact? Let him know he will be happier. He will be freer. He will be more joyful. He will be more loved and validated in this world if he was to express from a more heart-centered consciousness and a less mind-based reality. And so, we express at this time our joy with the expression of inviting your Trump to invite us to join us in a heart-centered reality, in a love-like unity-based consciousness, based on service to the one, service to the all, service to the other, including the self, but not at the expense of other. And the idea is that the Trump does not have the best interests of all at heart. We sense this. We, we read his frequency. He's deluded. He is lost in his mind, lost in the frequency of distortion of ego, lost in the frequency of distortion of the belief that, the belief that he's... Beliefs are true. Identification with mind is Trump's biggest problem, biggest issue. He does not know who he is. He does not know he is a divine soul of the divine matrix here to insert a particular frequency into your world at this time. But Earth humans, you can remind him. You can express your own joy, your own passion, your own expression of free will to express your own joy in this world at this time. And if the impetus is to reach out to the administration, if your impetus is to reach out to this Trump character for the purpose of uplifting his frequency, assisting him to see his own insecurities, assisting to break out into a grander expression of who he truly can be. While we support you in this, whilst at the same time suggesting that if you do not see the frequency moving in the direction you prefer, perhaps you should ingest your reality creation expression in the idea of votes in a resonant pitch that seems more conducive to the heart frequency of the love, light, unity, creator in one in all. Shivai, Earth humans. Till the next time, we love you unconditionally. We express our gratitude for allowing our starships to come into your world and react with you in this way at this time. We are you. We are one. We are love. We are all. We are the one infinite creator in all, expressing love. Shivai, we love you. Good day. <laughs> Oh.